The winning. The witch hunt. The fire. The fury. It's the best presidency ever! But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. No, right now, if you say very fine people around black people, we're gonna oh, be like, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I, I got, we, we're gonna oh, have to have some no, words. No, 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 you don't know what fine means. You don't know what fine, this is not fine. The Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville was a calling call to like anyone part of the white supremacist alt-right movement to come together. And they started chanting, the Jews will not replace us. Jews will not replace us! Jews will not replace us! And I kept looking at those guys and thinking, the Jews aren't interested. Very fine people on both sides. Having a statue of Robert E. Lee is like having a shrine in your house as a kid who torments you through middle school. Can you imagine Danny Anderson with his big ass ears and his bold cut hair and his buck teeth? Come here, Morris! And then I just like put candles and shit all over my room. It's not gonna happen. I don't even know if he knew what he meant. Like, I wonder if he just meant like hot babes, like that kind of fine, like damn, there are some fine women on both sides. Cause it's like, that's a little more understandable. The vice president who flew from Las Vegas to Indianapolis for Sunday's game, standing with his hand on his heart. But soon after, he and his wife abruptly left the stadium. I will not dignify any event that disrespects our soldiers, our flag, or our national anthem. The least Trump could have done was send him to a Jets game if he's gonna leave anyway. If you want Mike Pence to leave a room, there are two things you can do. One is kneel during the national anthem, and the second is bring a woman into a room who is not his wife. A few minutes after midnight, the president tweeted, despite the constant negative press, Cov fief. <laughs> <laughs> it's co yeah, it's it's COVID fee. That's what we're all paying with our lives. COVID. It's so stupid. The other F is just because we're effed. I was like, he's on a toilet. When are they gonna find him? I think he's had a stroke. See what I'm doing? I imagine that's what happens in his brain. There's this, nothing. This don't there. make nothing. There's this nothing don't make there. nothing. Hey, love birds. Stable genius writes, I've met someone else, President Xi Jinping of China. This sly China devil is like a sexy Santa, listening to everything you say, checking it twice, and if you're naughty or a Uyghur Muslim, sending you for re-education at a work camp. President Xi, get ready, because this love letter is headed straight for your heart. I was in China making a speech, President Xi, who is a strong man. I call him king. He said, but I am not king, I am president. I said, no, you're president for life, and therefore, you're king. He said, huh, huh, he liked that. I just want to give you the opportunity to clarify something you said that seems to be gaining some traction right now. Uh, quote, Hitler didn't even sink to the level of using chemical weapons. What did you mean by that? I think when you come to sarin gas, uh, there was no, he was not using the gas on his own people the same way that a shot is doing. I mean, there was clearly, I, I, I understand your point, thank you. I, uh, thank you, I appreciate that. There was not in the, in the he brought him into the, to, um, to the Holocaust Center, I understand that. I went to Hebrew school for a lot of years, but not knowing the term concentration camps means you didn't go to any kind of school. Sean Spicer's not the only one who doesn't know Holocaust history. According to the Washington Post, two thirds of millennials don't even know what Auschwitz is. They think it's the German word for avocado toast. This is a tough hurricane. One of the wettest we've ever seen from the standpoint of water. Rarely have we had an experience like it, and it certainly is not good. If you have a windmill anywhere near your house, congratulations. Your house just went down 75% in value. <laughs> and they say the noise causes cancer. You tell me that one, okay? I'm a very stable genius. Of course Trump thinks windmills cause cancer. He tried to convince his second wife that he got the clap from a revolving door. No, my doctor always checks for lumps in my breast to make sure I don't live near any windmills.
Guys, Trump just wants to do the thing you tell him not to do. Don't stare at the eclipse. Don't collude with Russia. Don't be racist. Don't bring about the end of the world as foretold in the book of Revelations. With regard to the uh, forest, when trees fall down after a short period of time, about 18 months, they become very dry. They become really like a matchstick. And they get up, you know, there's no more water pouring through. And they become very, very, uh, they just explode. He sounds like a two-year-old talking on a telephone with a relative for the first time. You're like, great, trees are, and then you try to hang up, but they're so little and you just want to encourage them. You got to take care of the floors, you know, the floors of the forests, very important. You look at other countries where they do it differently and, and it's a whole different story. I was with the president of Finland and he said, we have uh, a much different, we're a forest nation. He called it a forest nation. And they spent a lot of time on raking and cleaning and doing things. I think he just liked the idea of raking forest floors because he's used to just bossing people around in hotels. With the world watching today, President Trump walked into the Rose Garden to deliver the news himself. The United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord from what Stormy Daniel said, the Paris climate deal is the very first thing Trump has pulled out of. <laughs> 150 mile an hour winds ripping buildings apart, knocking out power everywhere. Maria is passing the Turks and Caicos Islands this morning as a category three hurricane. Officials there predict entire towns will have to be rebuilt. We are also praying for the people of Puerto Rico. During the visit, the president tossed rolls of paper towels into the crowd that gathered at the Calvary Chapel. He said, quote, the job that's been done here is really nothing short of a miracle. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Mr. Brooks, Mr. Brooks. Ah, ah! What the hell is going on? But Trump did eventually make it down there and he threw paper towels at people in a press conference, uh, which only could have been more insulting if he leaned back and threw individual sheets at people. Let me tell you what a man must never ever do to me, throw any kind of cleaning implement at me. Do you know what I would do to you? Trump threw those paper towels at Puerto Rico like it was an island full of cleaning ladies. Okay, who, oh, you, all right, oh, you, know you know what, what? You know what? You know what? Throw money, you idiot. <laughs>